as we promised you, here in Harkis CGTV, we are going to interview a lot of people working inside the game throughout all the national teams at this year's Mitsubishi Cup. And we're going to kick this one off with Brunei Daria Salam, and we're going to ask not only the head of coaching in Brunei, but we're also going to speak to the top kit man and also working as the media officer throughout the Mitsubishi Cup for Brunei. So this part of Harkis CG TV is called What's the Chances? And that's basically what we're doing. We're going to ask the same five questions to as many people across the ACN teams in the AFF Mitsubishi Cup and see what they've got to say. So, without further ado, let's find out. First, as I said, we have the head of coaches, a great guest, and thanks very much for coming on the show. We have Barry Ramsagun Marit Saleh, I hope I've said that right. He's the president head coach of all the coaches at Brunei Daria Salam. We also have the great pleasure of having Hazim along as well, who is top kit man and also the media officer for Brunei throughout the Mitsubishi Cup as well. So fantastic to have both you guys on the show. Thank you very much. So the first question really is, how do you think you guys will do at the Mitsubishi Cup this year? Bearing in mind, it's the first time that you've been there for some time. I, I don't think in my time in Southeast Asia, I've seen you guys playing at the AFF Cup. So how do you think you guys will do? I can say they're doing well because they qualified for uh, the group stage. Uh, they 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 won the uh, playoff against the Timor Leste, so that uh, they are doing well. Hopefully, they they can uh, this momentum can be bring to the group stage against the the big big uh, big big country. Okay, thank you. Interesting. And the same question to you, Hasim. How well do I think Brunei has done over the years? This is actually a big achievement for us. This is our first time qualifying in 26 years. So I think we've done very, we've done very well this time. We've improved. And we've finally got through to the group stages. And that's something promising for our nation. Okay, okay, excellent. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for these interesting answers that maybe not a lot of people have have thought about. So what do you think about the expectation level of the fans? Because football fans can be funny, they can be fickle. What, what are the expectancy levels? I'm, I'm sure people in Brunei are getting excited though, right? But for the tournament itself, I, I think Brunei can do well. Hopefully they can do well during the group stage again. The, again Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Cambodia. Uh, about the expectancy for expectation for the fans, of course there are a lot of expect, expectation. But unfortunately, uh, Brunei will not play. Uh, in Brunei because we unfortunately the stadium was not ready so that we will play it in Kuala, in Kuala Lumpur so for the fans we are expecting the team will be doing well for the for the tournament itself in terms of expectancy from the nation I think everywhere Around the world, there's a high expectancy of winning the games, uh, going further into the into the competition, and especially here in Brunei, is football will be considered number one, not just in Brunei but maybe all over the world. And I do see a high expectancy from from uh, from our fans here. They always want us to win. They they're here to support, and that's a good thing actually. And we do hope that we do get far in this year's edition of the Mitsubishi Literary Cup. Now more on the coaching side and looking specifically at the players, 
who who is the young player that we should be looking out for? Who who is going to excite people from around Southeast Asia? Who's the player from Brunei we should be looking out for? I would say we have a lot, but I can say Yazid Hakimi side will will uh, show his best during the tournament. Hopefully, he's not inj injured, but. What I can see just now, when during the final for FA Cup, he's doing he's he's doing very well. So one of our young players that I would say would be the one to watch would be Hakimi Yazid Syed. Um, he's the youngest brother of our of Jarazin Syed and Adi Syed. Uh, previous stars of, of the national team here in Brunei still playing but being 19 years old uh, that young and having all that experience and now experiencing on a national stage to go in, in the group stages of the Mitsubishi Electric Cup I think he's gonna be one to watch he's got good skill on him he's got good knowledge of, of football and yeah I hope it's, it's, it's time for him to shine and you never know get interest from other countries Okay, so definitely want to look out there for, for both of you saying that. Okay, interesting. Now let's get down to the meat and bones and the, probably one of the more difficult questions. Which country do you think is going to win it? Which country will win? As for me, Thailand is still the best. Uh, Indonesia should, should be in the final with them, hopefully. Mm, even Malaysia also. Very good. Thank you. Okay, and you, Hazim, what do you, who, what do you? Who I think will win? <laughs> of course, I'd like Brunei to win, but yeah, from all the countries you can see here in Southeast Asia, a lot of countries have improved. Vietnam, there's Indonesia with a, with a good squad. Thailand, which they've won for the past few years, and... Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say those three are the favourites. But who I think would win, I think it might be Vietnam. They've, they've progressed very well. They've developed a, a good squad, a good development in the team, and I think they, they can go all the way. Okay, and finally the last question. If you could pick one player from one of the other ASEAN countries to play in your team, who would it be? Players from other country. I would pick uh, Arif Ayman from I think Arif Ayman from uh, JDT from Malaysia to play Brunei to play against uh, with Brunei, you know, because he's 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 good, he's good skill. He got a good skill and good technique, and then he's still very young. And you, Hazim, who do you think? If I were to choose one player to play in Brunei from all over Southeast Asia uh, I would choose Chanatip from Thailand he's he's one of those players that you, you just wish you'd, you'd you'd have all the skills he's he's agile he has all the skill. he can pass the ball he can score he, he's a very good player and he's a good ambassador for Southeast Asian football and yeah all the best to him he's playing in the J League as well so that's a good sign as well Guys, thank you very much for your time indeed. And the very best of luck to Brunei Darya Salam. I hope you guys really do well. And I hope that's given people uh, an insight as well. So thanks very much for your time, guys. Best of luck to you and good luck. And there we have it. The very first one of us looking at the coaches and asking people, what's the chances? What are the chances? What do you think? Next up, we're going to be speaking to Cambodia. I'm not going to tell you about who the guests are. I'll let that be a little surprise. But uh, remember to check some of the videos here. Look at the videos that we did from last year's Suzuki Cup. And do not forget to get down there below. Like, click, subscribe. Let people know. This is all about ASEAN football here on Harkis CGTV. Supporting ASEAN football. Hashtag support Asian football. Harkis CGTV, thank you for your time.